Good morning here from beautiful Hickory Motor Speedway. It's uh, I think 12 o'clock right now. It's uh, we're about to go test here with the Brick Bear Racing Gang. Uh, I got the car uh, in the background. I'm sure as you can hear, uh, just getting it started, getting it warmed up before we come out here and practice. So this is test day number one uh, here at Hickory, and then tomorrow we will head to Ace Motor Speedway. Uh, or I think Ace Speedway. So uh, first time I'll be at that racetrack and uh, we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be good. As you can hear, they're revving it up. They're getting it uh, warmed up and ready to go. But uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back behind the wheel of the uh, of the Pro Late model. Uh, I, love the, I love that car when we drove it at, um, at Southern National for the Thanksgiving Classics. So uh, got a lot of laps here at Hickory in the Limited. Uh, from the year prior, so I uh, got a lot of confidence that we can get some good speed out of this car, get it set up for when we come here in March and uh, a little later in the year as well for 2022. So we'll uh, we'll get test day number one completed. Uh, I'll give you some feedback when we're all said and done, and then uh, then the next day we'll be heading to Ace Motor Speedway again, a track I've never been to, a track I've never even watched, uh, regardless. So. Uh, gonna do some, uh, gonna study some footage for that one, and then uh, get ready to to do that. But uh, right now, getting the car warmed up, I'll probably have to get suited up here shortly. Try to get as many, as much footage as I can of the car in, in action and of me of the team in action. And uh, but I think today should go really good. We're just waiting on the guys, the rest of the guys to get here, and then um, we'll be ready to go. from Ace Speedway. We're gonna be testing here in a little bit. Uh, they're get, the crew's getting the car ready right now over there, as you can see. Um, so a little recap on Hickory. Uh, Hickory was good, certainly learned a lot. Um, definitely a big difference uh, compared to the Limited. So compared to what I'm used to, I had to kind of relearn the car, relearn how to drive it. Uh, but overall, it was a success towards the end of the day. Got right where we needed to be and uh, pretty much after that, loaded up and headed here to Ace, and uh, now we got a whole different beast to uh, conquer. So, definitely an interesting track. Uh, tight corners, long straightaways. Uh, pretty from uh, what I saw in footage, it looks like it's going to be pretty aggressive with uh, with braking and then getting to the throttle. So, it'll be interesting. But you know, we uh, the RWR guys got a really good car uh, set up for me to come out and see what we can put down and. Uh, learned a lot, took some laps around in the uh, rental car, see if I could learn something and figure out something, and uh, certainly did just from a little rental car ride, but looking forward to it. I'll give you guys a recap here in a little bit, but uh, overall, uh, looking forward to getting in the car and going to a track that, uh, again, I've never been to. I haven't been to a lot of the tracks on the uh, Carolina Pro Series schedule, so a lot of this stuff will be new for me, but uh, looking forward to it. If we continue to get it, get quickly up to speed like we have been the last several times we've been on track I don't think we should have a problem so looking forward to it and I'll give you guys a little recap when uh, when we're done with the day
so it's been a couple days since our test with Rick Ware Racing um, in the 51 Pro Late model. Um, man, I mean, what else can I say? It was just a really big success for us. Um, you know, gained speed throughout the weekend at both uh, Hickory and Ace. Um, so showed a lot of great potential. Uh, and I think we're going to be really good. We're definitely going to be really good. Showed a lot of good speed. Um, times were right on point, right where we needed to be. Um, for both uh, race trim and uh, qualifying trim as well. Um, ran into a uh, an electrical issue uh, later in the day at Ace, but uh, you know, thankfully, we had gotten everything that we needed out of the car and out of the, the seat time and the whole nine yards uh, when it went bad. But you know, nothing that the RWR guys can't do to get it back up and and running again. But uh, you know, very thank again, very thankful for the opportunity to work with such a great group and. Uh, you know, have the, the amount of uh, support and coaching uh, behind me. Uh, big thank you to all those guys for uh, supporting me and allowing us to, to do what we do. And, you know, hopefully we'll uh, continue to, you know, do some, t some more testing uh, over the off season. Uh, the season doesn't start till March, so probably going to try to do maybe one or two more tests similar to what we did uh, this past weekend. So, um, again, big thank you to Rick Ware Racing, big thank you to all the guys that, uh, you know, g gave me a really good car to work with and uh, great coaching throughout the weekend as well. So, um, you know, a lot of big things coming our way, uh, both with the Rick Ware Racing stuff as well as with uh, my stuff and what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, a lot of big things coming and hopefully we'll uh, be back on track here soon and and hopefully we'll be able to, you know, prove give you guys some more vlogs, give you something to watch and look forward to. I uh, certainly have enjoyed uh, making them so far, um, you know, trying to get my editing skills better and making sure that it's good quality content for you guys to enjoy. So um, I hope you guys enjoy them just as much as I, I do making them. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you, guys.